I think the highlight of, um, of my uh, presidency is that um, ESGO is really making a transition from being a um, organization that was uh, very much focused on physicians and especially surgeons. It's now becoming more uh, multidisciplinary and also now uh, ESGO is trying to squeeze in, for example, also at this meeting, more um, molecular biology, more translational research, more basic research. And the reason, of course, is that there is so much going on in that field um, and that uh, impacts so much on, on how we're going to treat our patients within the next 10 to 20 years that that's really our, our effort to, to do so. The, the problem, of course, is there are, are many, many new targeted agents and um, it, it will be impossible to evaluate them all in gynae cancer. And one of the reasons is that there, if you compare um, gynecological cancer, for example, ovarian cancer with breast cancer from a more epidemiolo epidemiologic point of view, um, then the, the difference is that there are few ovarian cancers. And especially when you, when you think about the molecular biology, um, in the next 10 years we won't speak about ovarian cancer anymore, but there will be, let's say, four, five, six, seven uh, subtypes of ovarian cancer, which will even more impact on, on clinical trials in, um, in ovarian cancer. And so the only, only way to move forward is, is by uh, collaboration in very large international, European, um, and even global collaborative groups. And, and that's one of the things that ESGO really tries to promote. And in fact, um, ESGO has its own um, a clinical network, which is called NGOT, which stands for European Network for Gynecological Oncology Trials. And within this network, we, we try to perform and we try to do clinical trials that, that really uh, need large collaborations. That's a very difficult question at the moment. Um, um, there has been a, a long time quest for, for markers, for example, serum markers um, um, to detect um, uh, ovarian cancer in an, in an early stage. And there's a very large ongoing trial in the UK uh, by the group of Ian Jacobs, which is really addressing um, that type of, of screening for ovarian cancer. And I think we, we need to wait for at least another three or five years before the results of that trial will become available. So at, at this point, um, the, the value the, of, of screening for ovarian cancer is, is still unproven, and real new markers are at this point not, not available. The options, of course, are um, um, surgery, surgery in combination with chemotherapy and, and um, and hopefully within the next five to ten years the options for chemotherapy and especially target, targeted therapy will become more widespread and, and, and therefore we need to, to evaluate all those um, different uh, and new drugs in, 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 in so-called smart clinical trials. What we really need is biomarkers that help us to predict which patients are going to respond to all these specific targeted therapies. ESGO has its uh, end goal, which is specifically aiming at clinical trials, but also recently, during the last two years, we have established so-called ENTRIGO, which stands for the European Network for Translational Research in Gynecologic Oncology, and this network tries to um, bring together more basic scientists together with clinical group involved in clinical research and try to get them together and then promote translational research, which, which in fact means that you bring science from the lab to the patients, look what it does in patients and go back to the lab again. So that's a major effort, I think, for the last two years, uh, what has happened in, in, in ESGO. And for, also, for example, also at this meeting, um, I think six or eight years ago, if you would go to an ESGO meeting, you would find very little translational research, and the sessions were, were attended by, let's say, five to ten people. At this meeting, we had yesterday a workshop. I think there were more than 300 people attending that meeting, and they were very enthusiastic. So I really think that ESGO, in that respect, is moving to a new era.